In uh, 2011, I started living as female full time, and at the same time, I took part in a television show called My Transsexual Summer, um, and it kind of followed the lives of a few trans people just trying to get on with their life and, and be happy. I, f I found it a very um, affirming process. Um, it's given me a, a, a confidence I never thought that I could I could have before. I was on a it was on a cold street in Swansea, and uh, I literally I've been living as Sarah for about a week, and I had no confidence at all. You know, I was I was hiding my hair behind my hair. I was I had my head down. You know, my shoulders were all tensed up. Um, and you know that that was kind of a confidence scale out of ten of, of like one, you know. And the journey that I went on and everything that I've done since has just built me up and up and up. And now I think my confidence levels out of ten are probably about fifteen. <laughs> my life has been a bit mental. I spent uh, nine and a, uh, eight and a half months in a women's refuge after the TV show. Um, and since then I've moved into this wonderful new flat right next to the sea um, and I really feel like my life is, is moving on, it's moving forwards. Oh yeah, recently um, I was asked um, by a woman who makes, tailor makes dresses um, for specifically for the bodies, body shapes of trans people um, and so yeah, she, she made me a dress, it was really, really nice um, and we did a like, fashion shoot one Sunday morning since MTS, I, it's given me a voice, a platform to, to share my views and to, to share my opinions on different things. Um, and people read what I say and, and they respect what I say that I've, I've found, um, apart from the really stupid stuff that I say. I, I found um, a bit of a, um, a foothold for me as a, a trans activist, you know, someone who, who just kind of tries to campaign for equality and, and for better acceptance for trans people. Before I, I started transitioning I never wrote, I never kind of did anything creative and for some reason being living in a female role has, has allowed me to be more creative. Um, I've written a lot um, and I've, I've started to write a, a, a book about my life and about kind of how I came to this point in, in, in my trans journey. If, if you'd have asked me at the start of the filming for MTS how my life would have turned out, it, it would have been nothing like this. A lot of emails that I get, a lot of people asking me questions, are uh, how do I begin my transition? You know, I'd, I feel inside female or male I'd, I'd, and I want to transition, how do I start? Um, is the question I get asked a, a lot. Um, and I guess the, the advice I'd offer is, is to just kind of make, make steps, small steps, baby steps. First start off with trying to reach out to trans members of, the, of, of your community, people that you can actually go out and, and meet. Because for me, figuring out my identity was more of a case of figuring out who I'm not and what I'm not, rather than figuring out who I am. Um, once I decided who I didn't want, who I wasn't, who I didn't identify with, that helped me more than more than anything else. Well, I finally got my hormones. I I, I broke down in tears when when uh, when do the the gender doctor said that I could have them because you know this is what my life has been leading up to you know for such a long time. Um, and although these these tablets don't make me female, I'm female already. They will give me um, the body of a female. They will soften my skin. They redistribute the fat around my body. Um, they thicken up my hair, um, and you know, basically, kind of do lots of lots of things that, that female hormones do. Um, so yeah, uh, literally today, these, this one is is estrogen. Um, this one um, I've had one, two, three, four, five days of so far. Um, and this one is my anti-androgen, which uh, is basically it's a testosterone neutralizer. It'll it'll stop my my it'll stop my sex drive. Um, it'll make me infertile, which I'm not really too bothered about anyway, um, because I believe being a parent is more to do with the relationship you have with your child rather than genetics. So I've never really worried too much about being infertile, but. Um, that, yeah, this basically will will 
stop the damage that testosterone has done to my body over the last three decades. <laughs> um, and yeah, I've just received these, this earlier today and I was so excited. <laughs> it comes with a syringe. Do you want to... <laughs> I wish to feel a small prick in my bum. Will you help me? <laughs> <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> Amazing. It's mad to think. Like, just that. That will have such a huge effect on my life. 